Welcome back. Um, I received a lot of lovely comments uh, on my post that I did yesterday on my video that I did as video response to Becky's video on um, body image and self-confidence. And while I really, really appreciate all your comments and I think it's brave for you to even comment and really share your emotions and your thoughts on this, I realised this morning that I hadn't talked about one aspect of this entire topic that was actually really, really important to me. Um, so that's why I'm shooting the second video now. Um, there's a topic that probably is a bit iffy and that a lot of people don't talk about and I can understand if you guys say that I have no right to judge and uh, I have no um, no understanding of this topic. I will totally understand but I still wanted to share my thoughts. Um, for those out, out there who have kids, this is for you. I think you guys need to be really, really, really careful with what you um, help your kids understand with when it comes to body image. If you have issues with your body, maybe you think you're too fat or you think you need Botox or you get wrinkles too early or whatever whatever you, it is that you think makes you imperfect, um, remember that your kids are very very likely to adapt to your behavior especially when they when they're young. I've seen this happening already. I know someone who's having eating disorders, not as extreme as anorexia or bulimia. It's a case of um, it's certain specific behavior as in sitting at the edge of a chair so that the thighs don't look fat from above or um, not eating while the family is eating, stuff like that. And I can see it in the kids that they're adapting and that they're expressing that they think they're too fat and these kids are less than 10 years old. You have to remember that whatever you see in yourself, your kids are most likely to see as well and that they're going to adapt your behavior. If you go shopping a lot and you come across as spending a lot of time on looking perfect and having the right hairstyle and having perfect skin and having the best makeup, most likely your kids, especially the girls, are going to adapt to that and are going to have that sort of um, attitude at a, long, uh, uh, a lot earlier age. I mean, you could see it in the kids nowadays. They, they, you know, they look when they. My my niece looked like eighteen when she was thirteen, and I mean, obviously that also kind of had to do with her anatomy and her biological progress. Um, but a lot of kids out there already wear high heel high heels. I mean, look at um, Katie Holmes's kid. Suri, I think it is, she's already wearing um, heels. Now, I don't judge that. It's just the case, you know, do whatever. It's your kid and you do what you think is right for your kid. And if you think that it makes the kid more confident to wear heels because it's short, the kid is short or whatever, that's totally up to you. I'm not going to judge you. But you have to remember that whatever you see and whatever you criticise and whatever you think as imperfect and imperfection very very likely your kid is going to adapt that as well and before you know it your kid is going to have self uh, confidence issues as well and body image issues as well and I just wanted to kind of mention that and just raise your awareness and as I said you're happy to disagree with me and I'm sure that you'll have a lot of arguments against this I don't have kids but I worked with a lot of kids before starting my degree I worked as um or pair for a couple of years and uh, I also have nieces and nephews and I've seen a lot of stuff going on in that sort of area. I for myself can say that um, I had to live with certain things um, due to people around me having certain body images um, certain images of body image and certain um, expectations and stuff like that and that totally had an effect on me and that wasn't even my family and it still had an effect on me so if I had had if my my mum had been um, would have been you know anorexic or something I would have most likely taken that on board as well and just would have thought because I would have not realized that that is not normal or that that is in ex an extreme case I would have just taken her body and her eating habits and her um, 
view of the world in terms of beauty uh, as normal because I would have not known any other way than that because obviously as a kid you think your parents are you know the best people in the world and I, I hope you know everyone still thinks their parents are the best people in the world I certainly think so um, but I would have not realized that um, they have a world view that might not be you know that's having such an influence on me without actually realizing and I just wanted to mention this I just wanted to say it out loud and I as I said, you're welcome to disagree with me, but I thought this is a very, um, very iffy, to iffy topic, and I'm happy to say things out loud that other people don't dare to say out loud, or maybe even that people don't think about. I know a lot of you girl girls and boys, you know, are parents and, you know, are obsessed with looking good, and that's okay, but you need to remember that if you go to extremes and you have kids, that that will mo most likely rub off on them. And that's all I wanted to say. And, yeah, thank you for all your thoughts. And, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.